Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to our show. Ready? You've killed me. Good deal. <laughs> Finally, we only had one time to do it. As you all know from watching our show, we kind of... Oh, yeah. See, we we could go like 15 minutes. Yeah, for real. Hi, everybody. I'm Michelle. And I'm Amy. And we are Two, two creative, creative Chicks That Ride. Welcome to today's show. We're so yes. excited. Um, I hope you're enjoying, you know, the music in the beginning. Um, I think I do have to... Uh, no, I think we'll be all right. If our stream starts getting a little bit slow, um, let us know because I'll have to go backwards to our startup and stop the music and then come back because we've been having some problems with things running in the background making yeah. our stream a little slower. Yeah. But, you know, hey. It is what it is. It is man. what it is. Um, welcome to episode number 28. 28. Amazing. Yeah. We're still missing one show. We so are, there's only okay. 27 shows. Even though this is 28, we just kind of skipped over 22, which we'll, you know, we'll make up and, uh, and, uh, Hello there, that must be Robin. I bet you that's my hey Robin. Hey, gals. Oh, no, that's Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi, Liz. Hi, Krista. Thank you all for chiming hey, hi, in. Hi, Krista. Woo, woo. Let's Sending see. healing energies to Liz. Her daughter has been sick a little bit oh, lately. Oh, I hope so you guys feel better thanks soon. Thanks for chiming in and letting us see you. Aw. Yeah. So we've got a great show planned for you today. We are two creative chicks that ride. Our show is here to educate and inspire women mm. riders yes. in our local area and really across the globe, you yep. know, um, to, uh, it, and we cover all topics, all topics, you name it, sometimes topics that we shouldn't even be covering, <laughs> of the life of a female motorcycle rider. And, uh, Just saying. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's really, it's whether you enjoy riding your own, whether you ride on the back, whether you're a passenger, uh, or even if you're like, you love motorcycles and you're thinking, boy, I want to get my license someday or I'd like to right. ride. So, um, so welcome, welcome everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. Today we've got an awesome show. We've been getting really, we've been really getting it together and having a lot of fun planning these shows for you. Today we're going to talk about, are you riding the right bike? Are you riding the bike that's right for you? Right. Like fitment, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. when a bike doesn't fit you properly, all sorts of stuff can yeah, go wrong. Yeah, all sorts of stuff so that we'll be talking about. Yeah, that, today. that we'll be talking Yay. about. Um, we're uh, we're also going to meet our babe of the week, Allison M. Allison, actually, I could say her last name, Melvin. She's my sister-in-law. Oh my yeah, gosh, that's and she's great. amazing, and her story is like. <sighs> actually, amazing. I do. I may have to like pop out and and grab it, like you know, because I have like this wonderful read up that I got to I got to pull up. So. Okay. Um, but yeah, she's amazing. And then um, our new product highlight for this week are these beautiful new Dreamcatcher earrings that Amy's going to tell you all them. about. I feel like I'm on like Q, Sport what is it? QR? What is it? The home QB, shop? QVC. 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 <laughs> these beautiful QRL. earrings. <laughs> Amy's version of QVC. <laughs> QBD. I don't know. Let's make it up. CBD. Let's go. CBD. We're our CBD Jay. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to do our, your first live mini reading. Somebody submitted a question. Yep. And you're going to answer it live on the show today. Yes, I am. Yay. And um, listen, if you'd like to get in on the conversation, you can, you can write your comments right here. Uh, in YouTube, if you're here in YouTube, write your comments there. If you are in... Facebook in our Facebook group or on Yankee Dave's Motorsports Facebook page. You can write your comments right in there. Yes. And we're also on Twitter. Or you can send your questions and comments to two creative chicks that ride at gmail.com. We have a Gmail. Yes. Yes. So yes. we won't see them until the next show. But that's okay. The girls are getting excited over this um, this reading. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Liz and uh, Liz and Chris are just awesome. chiming in on that. Yes. Okay, so what is this so now? Good. Starting Starting to feel better. Oh, good. Yeah. They're starting to yeah. feel better. Yeah, listen to babies. And, um, she'll Hi, call Ashley. You. I Ashley think she'll Brown call you just later. Hi, on. Ashley. Welcome, welcome. I feel like, once again, that romper room. Like, we should have one of those, those signs where we see, I see Ashley and Robin <laughs> She just reminded me of the big tree thing. Oh. What was that one? The, the big tree. They, I think that oh, was romper room, okay. right? Okay. I don't she know. had, like, the thing. I don't yes. know. I'll have to look it Dance up. Dance yeah. yeah. <laughs> Show our age a little bit, Ariel. It was way before Barney. <laughs> so listen, chime in. Feel free to let us know. Yeah. Like, have you had any like fitment? You know, how was buying your first bike or your <clears throat> second bike? 
Have you had any fitment issues? What did you do beforehand? How did you fix the bike to fit you? You know what I mean? Or are you still riding a bike that doesn't fit? Right. And, and listen, I think the reason that we came it's up with this discussion, we have a fly in here, so we're going to be batting at nothing. <laughs> but the reason we came up with this show topic was because our babe of the week last week, Jen, yep. she actually got her license, had a motorcycle, yep. and hated riding. Mm-hmm. She would drop the bike in the driveway. She just could not get the hang of the bike. She she was disliking riding completely. Yep. Until someone recommended that she try a different motorcycle. Yep. And now, look, I have spirit bumps everywhere. She loves riding. So that's yeah. kind of how me and Michelle came up with, you know, are you on the right bike? Yeah. Is it your right fit? Yeah. You know, I'm sure. I'm only 5'2". Mm-hmm. So here. for me, height is height is an issue sometimes, mm-hmm. right? And, um, you know, I got to admit, when I first started riding my bike too, Michelle, I, I dumped it a couple of times. Yeah. Not dumped it, but I'd be standing still and all of a sudden I'd go, like the dead goat, you know. <laughs> Those fainting goats. We, yeah. Like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, and you and I were talking about this last week. What yeah. I was saying was, I personally, and it's a personal experience for everybody. So what I say and what I think doesn't necessarily need to reflect what anybody else thinks. It's not like law because I think it. But I personally do not think a sportster is a good first bike. I mean, even if you're a taller woman, maybe. Right. You know what I mean? Um, it depends on, like, there's so many different factors that play into it. But a Sportster is a very top-heavy bike. Right. And we were talking about that. And, like, what top-heavy means is, like, most of the weight is distributed in the front top of that bike. Mm-hmm. So it's more in your th- uh, it's more in your knees or your thighs, you were telling me. Yeah, it's more it's more up in your thighs, thighs to balance yeah, it. to balance it and and your front like so you have to use a lot of front body weight. Yeah. So you're and and then it's a very tall bike. So and you're only five two. So for a shorter woman, or even person, it's important to be able to have your feet flat on the ground when you're on a bike. Now, okay, I think you were with yours. I am. I am flat footed on the ground. Yeah. But you're still flat footed with a heavy top. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I don't, that's my personal take on it. I don't know what all you think about sportsters being a first good bike, but a lot of guys will say to a woman that's thinking of riding, and I'm saying guys because I heard it a lot from men mostly, you okay. know what I mean? Women were like, don't get a sportster. Like, they were mostly on they soft tails or this or that. It's so and funny. I, would ne- I never heard that, but go ahead. Well, and, and Lee, like, Lee works for Harley Davidson, yeah. you know what I mean? And she's on a sporty, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But she she know like she knows that shit. Like she she altered it. She she made right. all the different she customized adjustments. Customized it for herself. Customized it right. for herself mm-hmm. so that that bike is is her all the way. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And so you know there there are people that love sportsters and that's awesome. And I and I love them. I love the look of them. I just mm-hmm. don't like the way they feel. And even test riding one like coming out of the shop being worked on. I'm like oh no. I'm right. not riding this. It doesn't right. feel right. So I don't have much experience with different motorcycles, right? Because when, for my whole life, as you guys know, since I was very young, I always wanted the Sportster 883. I'd core mm-hmm. it out to a 1200. I had an 18 inch tank eight hangers. Childhood dreams. Yeah. Right? Fast forward to now, and I have my Sportster. I have my 883. I have what I wanted. I, I, I made it Amy's bike. I redid the seats and all that. Yep. But. 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 I, I think I, I think I should have a different bike. Hmm. And that's my opinion mm-hmm. for me, right? Like I love my Sportster. I ride it very well and me and the bike are one. But after sitting on some other bikes, and that's one of the recommendations yeah. they, they say about choosing a bike that fits you. Yeah. Is go to the dealership yep. and sit on some bikes. Yeah. Do Get some, the feel of it, the heaviness, yep. all of that. Yep. Do your you, feet go flat yeah. on the ground? Do your, how does it feel? The heaviness, the weight, the weight, balancing arm space, it, all it, of it, it right. You don't necessarily have to be buying the bike from the dealership, mm-hmm. of course. And and if you go to Space Coast Harley Davidson, I guarantee they're really you, good. they're really good. And Lee will be right there, being yeah. like, "Yeah, try them all, try yeah. them all on. Yeah. You want to do this one? This one? she'll sit with you all day. Well, you just sit on bikes, sit on bikes." I sat on that you know? purple badass bike, and I mean, it, the weight. Okay, so the weight for me yep. is in different places. Like I could feel. Yeah. Like you say, my bike is top heavy. I don't feel it top heavy, but when I sat on that dresser, yep. that full dress purple one, I felt that that was heavy. And it's got a fearing and it's got all this other stuff yeah. on it, right? So that kind of was it for me mm-hmm. there. But, um, you know, I rode my son's wide glide. You yeah. know, I got a clip of that. I'll have, we'll have to put up on the show one day. 
Yeah. And he's like, don't, don't, if the bike dumps, just let it dump, Mom. Just don't try to save it. Just yeah. get off the bike. Just and I'm like, I'm leg. not going to dump your bike, bro. He's like, just let it go, Mom. So I pull out of the driveway, and he's like, I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. My mom's on my bike. I'm going to throw up. So when I came back into the driveway, he was filming me. Hey, that's how I and felt listen. when I gave birth to you, Babs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picture that for four and a half hours God straight. <laughs> but listen, so he, I, I like the feel of my son's bike. I, I didn't think it was top heavy. I, I, I rode it. And it was loud. The pipes were so loud. And I'm like, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, I want this bike. Wow. So that's when I, I started thinking of other bikes, right? Yep. And um, because I would have never have known it had I not got on it and rode it that yep. I didn't, that I might not be on the right bike for me. Yeah, and that sitting on bikes, sitting on bikes. And of course, yeah. you know, if you have your endorsement, you can go on a test ride on any of them too if you want to, you know. Yeah, and, I do. Go ahead. Yeah, there's different, and there's so there's so when you if you don't have a bike yet and you're thinking of riding, that's one of the big things to do is just to go sit on a bunch of bikes. You know what I mean? Think of a bike that you want or that you like the style of or that you like Amy like Amy's dream. You know, you, yeah. I want a Sportster 883. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to the dealership, sit on a Sportster 883. Sit on different ones because there's different styles now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sit on an older one. Sit on a newer one. Go around, or if you know if it's a Yamaha that you're looking for, or a, and and that's personally Polaris. I, a Polaris, anything. Yeah. And I, for me, um, and and a, listen, a smaller bike, like my first bike was a Marauder. No, it was not a Marauder. It was a, liar, liar. Uh, yeah, it's a liar, liar, liar. My second bike was a Marauder. So my second bike was a Suzuki um, Marauder. My first bike was. I'm going to have to think of what the name of it was, but it was like a 650. You yeah, know, you 650 were riding CC. around the backyard or something. Yeah, you? it was riding around the backyard. Yeah, but 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 smaller CCs doesn't necessarily mean that that bike's going to be slower or not have as much torque or as much pickup because that bike was like a rape date. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. I didn't realize it. I thought I was on a smaller bike. I loved that bike, by the way. It was a great starter bike. But it had that low center of gravity. I'm a short person. I could fit, yeah. fit both of my feet, and it and I felt like oh 650 okay. I can definitely do that. You know right. what I mean? And so I rode that around. Um, needless to say, probably like about eight months later, my dad came to visit and he rode it and he was like holy shit. And of course my mother she couldn't look. She was like I can't watch you on your bike. I can't. She's like peeking now. But uh, <laughs> but he took it for a ride and my mother I think talk about almost peeing her pants when he got back. He was like holy crap. He goes that bike screams. So, so test ride it too. You know what yeah. I mean? Because if you're getting less, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting less. Right, right, and that's the thing, right? So, you know, one of the dangers of being mm. on a ill-fitting motorcycle, as they say, ill-fitting. Um, it's listen. You should not be using your tippy toes. No. Nope. You should not have to reach forward to get your clutch. Reach forward to get your brake. Put your feet. For extend it out to get your um, yeah to reach brake, your, your pedals yeah you you just those are danger those are dangers that most people can kind of overlook like oh well I can touch the ground on my tippy toes but you don't have the balance required and if something was to happen yeah you gotta have flat feet on the ground you yep. know yeah and stretching too far for the foot controls it's not comfortable when you're riding a bike to do that no that's not comfortable it's not like with if you think about like somebody cuts out in front of you, like you know they're coming out and you're like, oh, and you gotta uh, uh, really quick. Uh, now now yeah, you gotta yeah. stretch that extra. Mm -hmm. You know it's not right when there. When I got my eight eighty three, I had come down to you guys and I um I said to Dave, I said my I feel like I'm I'm like this on my bike. He's like, well, let's get you a new set of handlebars. Those right? are some things that you can do if you're already on a bike that's not comfortable. Right. right. So mine was too far out. Um, I have um really weak wrists. I. Have, physical physical disabilities that I, I deal with every day but reaching for that clutch was so hard for me yeah and it was so far out that my arms were going numb when I was riding the bike so yeah, Dave, Dave said listen we could probably fix that just with a different set of handlebars mm -hmm. um so we had those put on and it brought the bars back a little bit and then you know talk to your mechanic Did about your concerns difference? because Dave had such wonderful recommendations yeah he loosened the, the clutch torque yeah. Clutch. Yeah. Um, yep. Whatever. 
Yeah, the, the tightness of you. Because yeah. when your clutch doesn't go out so far, it comes. It, when it engages, right. it's a little right. bit closer. It's to easier to your pull handle. it out. So mm-hmm. before, I would I would literally have to go over and pull it, like whole handed pull. Now I can do it with the two three fingers, which mm-hmm. is what which is how it should be for mm-hmm. you. Um, now when I test rode my bike at Harley, mm-hmm. right, the slim. Um, there were some guys sitting on the picnic table kind of making fun of me and I could and they were saying it loud enough They wanted to make sure that I heard it, you know I can't believe they're taking her out on a test ride on that bike She did that bike doesn't fit her that bike doesn't want and they were in in a sense They were right right because I was tiptoed. I was tiptoed, you know, yeah But the bike felt good on me, you know what I mean? And I knew there were some adjustments that I could make Right, I made the test ride fine. It wasn't like I was totally awkward. In the in the and it was too the handlebars were too far out for me, you know. So I had to kind of lean forward to I test ride. I love how you look at your bike though. Go yeah. ahead. Well, so what I did was I ordered a reach seat, right? So I bought the bike and I said I need a reach seat. And what a reach seat is is it brings you um, a little bit closer to the front. And I think it's a little bit lower. I'm not sure, but it might not be lower. But it definitely. Um, you know, um, Lee may be able to answer that question, whether mm-hmm. it brings you lower. But the reach seat right. brings you closer to the tank, right? right? So closer to the tank brought me down just that little bit. My feet are flat on the ground. So that reach yeah. seat was put on my bike before I picked <laughs> it up from the dealership. Right. And then the other thing that they did was um, I didn't get new handlebars, but they took, they unscrewed my where my handlebars are hooked up on the bike and they rolled them and that's something you can do they rolled them forward and they went as far forward as you could go you always test this right when you're turning you like mine are so close mine are like within maybe a sixteenth of an inch of the tank but they don't hit the tank you know there's that space there so I can I can jam them over but it rolled my handlebars forward enough that I could ride with comfort you know what I'm saying and I can sit up I do prefer to lean forward for reasons for my back and my neck and things like that. But that's something else you can do if you can't afford a new set of handlebars. Right, have them rolled. Have them rolled. You know, un- unscrew them, check, make sure you got the Why torque. Why did I not think of that? And I you, do like my bars. Though. You know, because they're on that thing, so they can kind of come and ha- roll them forward and see how they feel for you. Yeah. Boom. Chakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so oh my God, I love you know, it. there's so many different ways um, to find out if the bike is right for you, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, cru- cruisers have low seat heights. You know, yeah. the bigger the bigger the bike, sport bikes, they're not as comfortable. Yeah, they're made for like short distance right? rides. They and are. Stuff they're like made that. for fast speed. Mm-hmm. And then you got the touring motorcycles, which are kind of like the lazy boys of motorcycles. Yeah, it's like riding on a couch, really. Yeah, you know? the endless <laughs> night falling asleep on the back of a couple of those. Yeah. I really have. Yeah. Like, just out. Yep. Those, that was in my drinking career, though. That doesn't happen. So, um, you know, you, it's it's basically to your own liking, right? Well, you've got the standard styling and the dual sport. Now, yep. this is interesting because a sportster is a sport bike, right? Yep. And they are. They're nimble. They're the athletes that are designed aerodynamic. to be aerodynamic, mm-hmm. allow the turns, all that yep. stuff. But they can mean shorter riders will be on the tips of their toes trying to reach the ground. Because See, they're they higher say up. That about yeah. Right. Or, or sport bikes, right? Right. Um, there's two that are really good for starting, right? And they are, I believe, standard. The standard styling is a simple mix of function and visual appeal. So they do everything on the streets well and aren't designed for um, any particular focus. So they come. Yeah. They come in a variety of engine sizes, accommodations, and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, the, what's that dual sport? Well. The dual sport is like kind of like um, what you would do. It's almost like a dirt bike, but you can ride it on the road. You know, so street street, street legal bike. street bike. Is that, that what looks it's like a dirt street bike? bike? Like in I think, car terminology. Well, yeah, I think I would say um, a street, street bike, bike. Well, sport bike sport bikes are going to be like when you're um, like a GSXR or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. This is going to be like the ones that like enduros. I think it's called an enduro. Okay. You know where it's like up on um but it looks like a dirt bike you know so they're really high up right but you can do jumps you can do off-road you can do on-road um i'm trying to think if i'm explaining that right yeah you are you are i I understood it so there so there's um 
<laughs> Liz says, I'll be getting a bike one day. Yes, Yay. you will be, girl. And you will be, we will be taking you around. You'll be sitting on everything. For real. In a 50-mile radius. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? Yeah. So, you know, we are all about encouraging and um, supporting women, upcoming women who want to ride. Yeah. Who, who are passengers and want their own or who are just passengers and love being on the back. Like, I loved that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I loved that. And it's still a sport. Yeah. You know, because yeah. when we talked about that, and we'll probably have to dedicate a show to that, like yeah. being a passenger and mm -hmm. and what your role is, and what and and have other passengers come on and you know have tell you us ever about seen that. A white beetle? No, he's a ghost. He's a ghost beetle. I literally have a white beetle on the tablecloth, so I'm just gonna let him hang over there somewhere. <laughs> like I flung him across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want him to fall on me. I would jump out of my chair. Like I have a I have a thing with the goddess of Kate. Like bugs inside the house are not allowed. I have to kill them. But anything outside, <laughs> that's fine. And I'm fair game. trying to say we have their fair game. <laughs> the, I guess that final note is like to allow your allow your own personal experience to guide you. Like yeah. Amy says, like, you know, trust that inner voice, trust that oh, intuition. You know what so I mean? So important to trust. Yeah. Trust that, because listen, spirit will never guide us in the wrong direction. Right. Spirit will never guide us in the right direction. And if you think like, mm, I'm going to get that bike, and then you're like, oh, that little, uh, means don't get that bike. Yeah. Or if you wait too long to follow through with it. I called, I, by the way. Yeah. I got a hold of Lee. I said, is that purple bike still there? Last weekend, because I was like, mm, I might test try it. I might, I might be upgrading it. She was like, nah, it's gone. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That was, you know, message. Obviously Thank God, because I would have kicked her ass, damn it. <laughs> I would have rode you around on the back, uh, baby. Yeah, she would have put me on the back like a right bitch. <laughs> um, Been adjusting, there, done that. Adjust the ways that you can adjust the seat we were talking right. about. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest method is to simply just change the seat. You know, there's so many different seats that you can have. And then uh, somebody's saying, who's laughing at us? Oh, Liz. Liz, <laughs> we, you will be sitting on many bikes. Yes. So... <laughs> With this one, right, the yes. adjustments to the suspension. So off-road cross bikes and dual sport bikes have some of the highest seat heights. Yep. Right? So the softer suspension on the bikes means that they sag more under the rider's weight. Yep. And also have a rather narrow seat. Mm -hmm. So that was the other thing, right? Like I test drove my son's motorcycle and it was a, it was a glide. Yep. Right? And it felt like I was sitting on a Clydesdale compared to my Sportster seat. Yep. Very wide. Yep. And, you know, that was one of my things. And then I got offered to ride a bike in Laconia, and that seat felt the same way, and I was not comfortable on that seat. Mm -hmm. So if I was to get one of those larger bikes, I would definitely have to get a different seat or lowering yep. kit, different seat, whatever. Something like a reach seat would probably be yeah, better for man. you. Because it's narrow, it's the most narrow space right before the gas tank, you know right. what I mean? So it pushes you forward. And Lord and knows these of... legs ain't been spread in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he said. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she, she's always I getting couldn't, me. I couldn't, always. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. Um, yeah, now so, they're all going to be questioning. Yeah. Oh. So the suspension, and the suspension will be like if you ever hear like, oh, i got to lower that for you. Get a lowering kit. That's the suspension. That's lowering your suspension. Yeah. So lower your suspension, get a new seat, roll back those handlebars. Those are some nice things you can do if you're already on a bike. Or look for, Liz is still laughing. <laughs> or look for um, a bike that fits you better. Go sit on, sit on a bunch and see how you feel. Sit on it and spin. Were you going to say it? Uh, I just was going to say that, Michelle. <laughs> Stay out to my brain. No, I would not. <laughs> so, yeah, so replacing the seat, adjusting the suspension, you know, getting the, um, they have lowering kits. I know they have lowering kits and stuff yeah, like and that, right? Yeah, that's the suspension would be the lowering <coughs> kits. Okay. So, um, I mean, like mine, like I can, I can twist, like there's that special key in one of the shows that I had that, the only tool that I got with my bike was the key, and that was to adjust my suspension. suspension. So you can get a little teeny bit. On the seat, but you know, if you really want to adjust your suspension, a lowering kit is going to be what you need. Right. Yeah. So the lowering okay. kit, lowering suspension equals getting lower kit. So, so some yeah. of the things that they were they were saying was you know definitely get on a lot of bikes. Yeah. And and research the bike that you're looking for. Are you looking for something for speed? Are you looking for something to just put around? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys have been on the Creative Chicks uh, Facebook page, 
you know, there's a picture of me on a Papa Wheelie and Michelle's going, some people just don't understand how it is to take a chill ride. <laughs> so, so, you true. know, and that's, that's the truth, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, one of the things, this guy right here, Cycle Arrow, Cycle oh. um, um, Dash. dash. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What is that thing, Michelle? What is it? That's usually me. Cycle-Arrow.com. So, so it's C Y C L E dash E R O dot com. So on this website, very cool website. It's so cool. I was Liz, at it this morning again. Go, Liz, to, that go to that website. It lets you choose the make of your bike. So mm -hmm. Harley, Buell, BMW, Suzuki, Honda. You pick the pick the um, company, the make. Mm -hmm. Then you pick a model that you like, right? Then it shows a dummy picture, a dummy sitting on the motorcycle. And it You're shows the you where the feet placement would be because you enter your height in your weight. And your inseam. And your inseam, your height of, and your, your inseam. of your inseam of your thighs. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how the proportions would be on that motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So when I did it this morning, I did a soft tail custom like you have, right? Yeah. That what you have? Uh, slim. Slim. I always get it wrong, man. I've been with this bitch a long time. I still don't even know about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So I went on there, and I could see that my feet... I would need an adjustment on that seat mm -hmm. because it showed me that my legs are too short. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's See? one of those great tools to it's use, perfect. you know. Oh, no, you don't have to put your weight in. Oh dang! My it's weight. just your it's your height, height in your inseam. In your inseam. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> Oh, shit, we didn't oh, go to that website. But, we'll but put my weight in, they'll be like, yep, that fits you. You yep. should weigh down that seat yep. fine. Yep, that one fits you. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't matter. Your feet ain't going to be dangling on that. <laughs> don't worry. So. Yo, big ass will make it hit the ground. <laughs> so funny. Uh, yep, yeah, please feel free, you know, share your experiences. Yeah, I'd love to see, like, what bike you had and why you didn't feel comfortable or why you chose to get a different one. Like, for me... Um, First of all, I want something that's a, a little bit more comfortable, even though I redid my seat. Yeah. Um, I put much more padding on my seat. So the seat isn't the issue. Mm -hmm. um, Just the feel? Listen, I love my sporty, but I think I'm going to have another bike in a year. By next summer, I'm really hoping to have a different ride. I might keep the one I have, too. <coughs> so, you know, I'm just putting that manifestation out there, ladies, because I, you can create anything you want in your life. You just Love have that. to manifest. Love it. Work for those goals. Don't sit on the couch thinking, oh, yeah, God's going to give me this, and the goddess is going to do that. No. Get the frick out there and work for what you want in your life. Yeah. Yep. Make it happen. Yep. Even with all my ailments, I still make sure that Speaking I of which, have, yeah. Would you want these? Oh, my God. What do you want in no. life? So Ooh. I'm wearing them today. Um, they're really beautiful. I'll come up a little closer so y'all can see. Get a little so bit closer. Um, my Zodiac Sagittarius earrings on right now. So cool. And they are stunning. Love them. Um, they're silver, and they all have the Zodiac symbols on them. They are available in a neck matching necklace, but you have to you have to order that per request. Okay. The earrings are all um, are here. Um, when I found, I love dream catchers, as you all know. They're so pretty. Um, I love the dream catchers, and then I was able to get the zodiac signs and I was like oh my god that's so perfect for yeah. me so I created a pair for myself because I like unique jewelry yeah and then I'm like you know what these are going to be an item in our store they're so pretty they're very lightweight they might look big and but they're very lightweight um I have old ears so they probably hang it down a little bit but you know you know they get those tummy tucks for the ears, like Chris Jenner. She like do your ears, ears hang low? Do, do they wobble, wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? <laughs> Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? No, my tits do. Thanks anyway. Yeah, I know. That's, 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 I was gonna say that the same song, but I'm saying that do you do your tits hang low or your boots hang low? Oh, that was great. <laughs> Yeah, see why, yeah, right. You don't see why we still work We just can't make it a karaoke. 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 Yeah, so these are the product of the week. They're absolutely stunning. They're all silver. Um, sterling silver hoops, so there's no need for having to worry about, you know, like crap jewelry. Yep. Yeah, so they're sterling silver. And 
I gotta tell you, I love them. They're beautiful. I they are beautiful. I love them. Yes. And so, are they? Do they they're come not in the store? On the website yet. Okay. So they're they're, they're um, here available in the store inside of Yankee Dave's Motorsports, which is a fully functioning motorcycle repair shop. We are located at 1170 Oslo Road in Vero Beach, Florida. Yeah. Again, we are inside of Yankee Dave's Motorsports. Yeah. So perfect. You can come down and check out the earrings. They will be on my website uh, by the end of this week. So okay. by, by Monday, Perfect. they'll Perfect. be on the website. Perfect. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. I love them. I love them. Woo-hoo. So yeah, I love man. them. They are gorgeous. Pretty cool. Yeah. So you know what time it is. It is. I'm going to show you my time. forehead for a minute because some of these pictures came out sideways. So I'm just going to kind of do some quick editing. Hello, I actually forehead. don't even think you need to because that's no. one, two, and maybe the third. One, two. One, two, three. No, I might have taken it out already. Nope, oh, I didn't. Okay. She's sideways. She's vertical, not okay. horizontal. <laughs> okay, so we got three. Um, not, it's the top one. Okay. Let's pray. Let us pray. She's fine. You know, I just wanted to show you my forehead. Yeah, okay. we haven't done that in a while, Michelle. <laughs> they missed your pretty head. Okay. Babe of the week. And actually, I really wanted to kind of take this out, and um, but I'm going to read it from my phone because I, I asked Allison. So this is Allison. Allison is our babe of the week. Thanks, Liz. Allison Melvin. Allison is a realtor in um, in West Palm. So if you, nice. if you want some real estate, um, you know, Call her. She is. She's really amazing, and she'll tell you like, no, that's not good, or this bad area, good area, whatever. Oh, that's she's awesome. Really, I yeah. love honest realtors, boy. She's they really very. Help. She's very honest. She's very upfront. She's just a no BS. You know, she's kind of. Mm -hmm. She's you know the whole the whole family is like that. But Allison, yeah. Allison is our babe of the week. She's I asked, beautiful. She. It, I asked Allison to be our babe of the week because, um, because she just. She's she's been across the world. She has done so much, and one really cool thing that she has done is on a lot of people's um, bucket lists. She did not go to Sturgis. Oh yeah, she did. Ah! Okay. We are so gonna plan that. <laughs> okay, Allison rides her own bike. This is her on her bike. Yes, and beautiful. The BMW. older pictures are her um, on her little world tour. So. Her favorite thing about riding, she is 58 years young, right? Very beautiful, youthful. That family just has beautiful youth. Um, and she's been living in Florida for 27 years. 18 of those years, she's been riding motorcycle. Yeah. Wow. She's originally from Massachusetts, um, as I know, but now you all know. <laughs> she's a full-time real estate agent at Palm Beach County, okay? So, um, and if you just kind of Google her, you can find her beautiful site with all the awesome houses uh, someday on my bucket list maybe is one of those houses she always wanted to ride when she turned 40 right mm -hmm. so um wait a minute she always wanted to ride and when she turned 40 <laughs> she took a motorcycle endorsement <laughs> class <laughs> um so she took the class got her motorcycle endorsement bought her bike and has been riding ever since wonderful six months out of the gate so she had her license for six months Amazing. She rode to Sturgis and back. That's awesome. Yep. Daytona and Leesburg. Listen, if I ever <laughs> get the money, right. If I so she rode to money, Sturgis back, it. Daytona and Leesburg within six months out of the gate. Six months wow. out of having it. Yeah. She even has been known to sell a house of three showing up on her bike. Oh my gosh, she's a yep. realtor. She's badass and she shows up on a bike to show you the house. Right? I'm telling you. Who's better than that? And um, That's awesome. she does have a message for um, other women riders, a couple of them. Uh, be as badass as you want. Rock right? Star right? So there. be as badass as you want to be and don't let anyone tell you differently. Yeah, mofo. For real. Be free, live free, and ride, baby, ride. Amen. Yep. And then, of course, she says, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. Because that's perfect. a big thing that we say. You know, keep those rubber that's side perfect. on. That's perfect. That's perfect. I also, so I said to her, she's like, if you need anything else, Michelle, let me know. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up the boat here, right? Right. Because I want to know, six months out of the gate, and you're on 
in Sturgis? I need to know more about that. Right, right. <laughs> Do tell, right? Right. So, because I was asking, like, did you go by yourself, right? Yeah. That's one of those questions, the thoughts that come to mind. Oh, my God, she'd been riding for six months. Did she go on her own? Yeah. Did she go with a group? Did she go with friends? How did she get there? And then, um, and then I wanted to know um, what she thought of it, like what, how she found it, right? Like what she learned along the way, you know. Sorry, I was um, responding to someone <clears throat> on um, our feed, but that's okay. Okay, you got it. Are yep, we good? I got it. We're good. Okay. Um, so she says, as a new rider in 2004, she took a six-week road trip six-week road trip with her then boyfriend and his buddy Joe. We made it to Sturgis from Florida in four days. She rode the Badlands Spearfish Canyon where they rode with Kevin Costner for a charity for the Black Hill Indians. Oh my gosh! Needles Pass, Custer State Park, Keystone, and Deadwood. In Wyoming, we were off to No Panty Wednesday in Halt, Devil's Tower, Jackson Hole and Cody. Total six week tour after being six months on the bike. Then off to Red Lodge, Montana, Chief Joseph Pass, top of the world, where she learned to ride in the snow. And it was also the first place that she bought real chaps. <laughs> and they went to Yellowstone. Wow. It was a trip of a lifetime. And I only had a few meltdowns and cried. I love how honest she is about that. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I mean, think about that. Like, I know. I, in my little neighborhood, less than a sixteenth of a mile from my house, I, I'm breaking down and crying because I'm having a hard time going around the, the, the circle, you yeah. know? Yeah. So she only had a couple of meltdowns. Needles Pass and the Pigtail Turns was where she learned about wide sweeping turns. And St. Joseph's St. Joseph Pass was where it was so windy she was afraid she would be blown off the road. It was a very windy road. Things that she learned on the trip. I love this woman. I absolutely love this woman. Number one, number one thing she learned on the trip: men don't like to stop. Men don't like. Men to don't stop. like to stop. Okay. It's so true. I totally yeah, agree with that. Yeah, I one. agree with that completely. And, and in parentheses, she writes meltdown number one. <laughs> stop. Six months out. I can't even imagine. Uh -uh. Um, number two, pigtail turns. Meltdown number two. So pigtail turns means you're going, and then all of a sudden, whoop, you're back down. Yeah, they're wide sweeping turns, okay. right? So you, so they're, they're the turns. Um, my first wide sweeping turn, so they're wide, like big wide rotary, right? So you're wide and you're sweeping, right? Oh, I know what and you mean, And you can, yeah. can kind of drift a little bit on yeah, those. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That's I, scary as all shit. It is scary because I've done that. In a I time. almost rode into my friend on my first wide sweeping turn. <laughs> now I don't do well, that Well, if you anymore. wanted a piece of me, you should have just asked. <laughs> How you doing? But she was a pro because she was just like, yeah, I saw her look down, see my, my you know, little peg, right coming there, up, yeah. my peg coming up on her. And she lifted her foot up and then she was swept. She swept a little more over. So meltdown number two. She learned she hates riding when it's really windy. Meltdown number three. <laughs> and she learned how to rig showers at campsites. She learned how to shower and wash her hair in six minutes or less. Back to one. Men don't Men like don't to like stop. stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She also learned that she hates camping, and these, this is the best. She learned that she loves the wind in her hair, she loves Deadwood, and she loves Kevin Costner. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing yeah. all that, Allison. And would I do it again? Hell yeah. So, um, so talk ooh, about bucket lists. Ooh. Like, hey, I'm going to get my endorsement, and then I'm just going to get the whole fucking bucket list off my list now. <laughs> Let's just do it now. Yeah. <laughs> right? If I was able to come into a little bit of money, that's what we would do. We would do Freaking a amazing, right? ride. Yeah. That's Love phenomenal. It. Love it. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, and actually, speaking of which, so now we have a buy me a coffee link, right? Yes. And the main thing about our buy, buy, us, buy us a coffee, so it's right. buy us a coffee, and you can find it. We're going to post it in our group, link to it. But if you go to yankeedaves.com and you go to the tab on the top, on that side and it says I've changed it says creative oh no it doesn't it says chicks that ride that's it chicks that's that it. ride right. that's any chicks now. that ride go there right because um, we're just too creative of them <laughs> right right. and um, and you follow down there's two spots here it says buy us a coffee but what we do is that coffee the money really do, I mean it could buy us a coffee but really the money's going to go towards maintaining our live stream yeah right yeah which could include taking cross country trips right 
It's going to definitely feed our, our, yeah. our live feed, right? Yeah, and then working on the Phoenix Motorcycle Project, which we'll tell you about at the end, end of our of show. show. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay till the very end because we do have some announcements that we're yeah, going to be making. Yeah, we do. Exactly. But Allison, Melvin, she's a realtor in um, West Palm County. I want to make sure I get that yep. right. And, Palm uh, Beach County. Palm Beach County. And she's our babe of the week. Thank you so much, Allison, for Thanks, sending in Allison. all that awesome info. I know. That's awesome. Congrats on that Keep the rubber list, side Jeff. down, girl. Love it. Okay. So, next on We're the agenda. We're spin things up a little bit. We got something new today. We got Michelle's forehead. So, Michelle's no. forehead's fine. So, um, I have on the woodwitchery.com, which is my web channel, uh, I mean my website, there is a link for a free reading. So what you do is you go to the Wood Witchery, you go to readings, and you go to um, the thing for um, request a free reading, and that is done live on our show. I will be doing one a month, so if you know anyone who um, who has a question or a comment, you know, back in the day we had Dear Abby. We used to write with a question and look for some advice. So I did a little spiritual spin to it, right? And you just give me your name and your email and the question that you have. So um, last month, our my friend Krista um, came onto the show, um, came onto my website and requested that free reading. And her question was about um, a relationship question. So what do, um, you know, is it gonna go anywhere? What's gonna happen? Um, you know, so she asked a question about this new relationship that she has. So in my morning meditations and my, um, I do morning meditation and spiritual guidance every morning for myself. And I had asked them this morning, um, which deck I should choose to do my live reading. Um, and they suggested that I do the um, Lover's Oracle, which is here. This is the Lover or Lover's Oracle deck. And my fingernail polish is horrendous, but that's okay. One hand's done, the other hand's not. Didn't have time. <laughs> I just told you to do it while we were live. Yeah, she said, no, just do it on the show. She said, no. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, again, this is for Krista. Um, and Krista is asking, Spirit, Krista is asking for some guidance in regards to, in regards to her um, new relationship, right? So Ooh. we're going to have a card for her. Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there's the one that popped out. So, oh, look at this beautiful image on this card. Ooh. So stunning, right? What a pretty deck. It is a very beautiful deck. I what love it. And it's deck an you oracle. Have. Yeah. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you have shared with those that you love. Oh. Right? So I'm getting the feeling from spirit that this is a wonderful friendship. There's going to be lots of great memories that are going to be formed from this friendship. Um, and to just enjoy the moments that you have now. You know, going through and um, sometimes in relationships, right, we are so focused on the ending or the beginning, like I was talking to somebody I was doing a reading for last night, and it's like, in the beginning we talk, we only talk about all the great things, all the great things, all the great things about mm -hmm. this person. And then in the breakup stage, when, when the journey is oh, over, it's all, all the bad stuff, things. All <laughs> stuff. So I had to change my perspective in regards to some of that too, right? Because I don't do anything negative, I'm a very positive mindset. I had to look at all the blessings of the journey that we took together. Mm -hmm. So at the end, I didn't focus on all the negativity and the hurt and the baggage and the uh, abandonment, uh, 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 puke. Mm -hmm. I focused on the beautiful memories of the journey, oh. right? Like carving for this person yep. and, and being encouraged to do things in my life by this person. So that's kind of the message I'm getting here from Spirit, is that um, it's not, it's not going to be a long-lasting, but it is going to be very fruitful. Nice. So memorable. that's what I have for you, Krista. And memorable. A good memorable. If you have memorable. any other questions, Krista, you can just go onto the website and um, hook up for a little bit more and, you know, put in another request. So that's one of the things I wanted to share um, also this week is that um, we have certain things on our websites that people can 
um, that people can go and apply for. Like Michelle has the Babe of the Week. I have a spiritual spin free monthly reading. Um, so you just, again, you go to the website, which is thewoodwitchery.com. And after that, you're welcome, Krista. And after, when you get onto thewoodwitchery.com, you would go to readings. And in the readings, you would have um, entered to win a free reading. Um, and that is live on our show. It will be about once a month. I keep entering, and she doesn't so. seem to be getting my entries. It's okay. My website had a little bit of a... <laughs> just kidding. My website actually was neglected for a little while, and I'm just going to be honest about it because I don't know why. Um, it was neglected because I was putting other things first, and my beautiful friend here, Michelle, had shared, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, mm. Hugh Hefner saying... I love Hugh Hefner. Life is too short to follow other people's dreams. Yeah. So I have Gotta revamped my life, and I am focusing more on Amy and Amy's dreams right so but I do love doing readings and I love my spiritual practice and um, yes I do so this is going to be a weekly a monthly thing monthly yeah awesome. so um, not only will we be having the zodiac of the month we'll be having the reading of the month I and love I that. think that that's a great thing um, so again go to the woodwitchery.com readings page and enter to win a free reading and it won't be always with the Oracle cards I have many decks to choose from so um i just let spirit guide me in which one that should be we so, may be yes. are we having a problem with our um stream no looks good okay looks great because it's kind of coming um yellow and then red almost like we're uh, going in and out so are we are we like sticking in space yeah i don't sometimes i think it's comcast i'm gonna blame comcast because we definitely rock and comcast sucks just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good deal. Listen, stay to the very end, people, because we got some really oh, great, some great announcements. announcements yeah. Some awesome, awesome ooh, announcements. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, upcoming events for the weekend. We're not sure what the weather's going to be. That's going to follow. But listen, following true to my tradition of really trying to find as many women geared events going on. I was able to find one, so I'm going to go to the bottom first and then the top. Okay. Women on Wheels. Wow, right? This is the nice. 35th annual Wow ride-in, July 13th through the 15th. So that's um, in Lake George, New York. Oh, my God. Right? We need so to break So buy us a coffee. Right? Buy us a coffee. So we, we can, can go, go to Wow, and then we'll video it. And maybe, hey, and we have some other things in the works that maybe one of you might be able to come with us. So yes. we'll get to that, too. Yes. But, yeah, so um, I know. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So, yeah. Okay, so this is um, Lake Georgia, New York. It's all female motorcycle enthusiasts are welcome to join WOW members for three days of riding. Local tours, there's lots of vendors, attractions, and camaraderie, of course. <laughs> and women rock, you know that. The WOW mission statement is to unite all women motorcycle enthusiasts for recreation, education, mutual support, recognition, and to promote a positive image of motorcycling. To find out more about this, you know, go to their website, right? So it's it's Women on Wheels, right? Wow. And you just Google it and you can find them. They're pretty great. That's awesome. Um, and, it looks, and it looks like that's going to be a lot of fun. And then for our local people, um, this is in this is on the west side of Florida. Port Charlotte. Um, yeah, Port Charlotte. It's a motorcycle swap meet. Um, I believe Dave and I have been to this, but it's Sunday, June, July 11th from 8 to 2. You can buy, sell, swap motorcycle parts and accessories. Great place to go if you're looking for a reach seat, new handlebars. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, and you, and you want to, you know, save some money. Some of those things that those swap meets are beautiful. I know. I know. Yeah. I haven't been to one down here, but I used to go up in Connecticut all the time. And um, yeah. proceeds will go to uh, local food bank. Awesome. And um, it's it's at Biker Life, which is three two six five Tamiami Trail, Tamiami. How do you get? How do you Tamiami. get? Tamiami. What's the way? Tamiami. <laughs> Tom in Miami. Tom yeah, Tom Miami. Miami. <laughs> Port Charlotte, Florida. <laughs> Again, Biker Life in Port Charlotte. Yeah, Good. Biker Life, Port Charlotte. Um, that's going to be on the eleventh, and um, you know that's really all I could find going on. But how's the weather going to be for the? I don't know. I know you don't know New York, but what's yeah? What's I don't know like? too much. I know upstate New York, it, it, they're hit and miss too. So down here we have um, down here in our weather. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so she's taking over. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's an equal exchange <laughs> energy, right? So Friday. It, the weekend temperature is going to be really good. I have no idea what happened. 
Um, really good. Okay, there it we're is. still good. Aww. So, um, all those hearts. The weekend's going to be uh, a little bit rainy, but you know, we're in South Florida, so it's hit or miss afternoon thunderstorms. Tomorrow is going to be the worst hit. Right now, it's at 51%. It went up since yesterday. Um, so, I updated the, the stuff this morning. Oh. It Why? went up since yesterday, and then um, Saturday you got about a 34% cent chance, Sat Sundays a little bit more, okay. but I really believe, like my instincts are telling me it's just going to be the afternoon thunderstorm okay. for Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be partly cloudy, but we are going to get a little bit of, you know, it's, it's South Florida, that's what happens. Yeah. We get rain, it's our rainy season, mm -hmm. like it says there, pack your rain gear, it is the season. I have been researching rain gear, so maybe we'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, because I've been researching rain gear because I want some for my bike, but I want it to be very compact so that it sits yep. in my saddlebag and I don't ever have to take it out. Yep. yep. You know what I mean? So yep. even if I have to like put a straw in there and suck all the air out of it like I do for my bike. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should talk about rain gear because I have yeah. I have awesome tool that I use in the rain. Cool. That, yeah. So that's a show. That's a show. That's a, that's a show thing. It's a show for another day. Yeah. It is. So we're um. Write it down, but we'll so we do it. have a couple of announcements before we end our show, right? Um, that we wanted to talk with you about. We got so many new things going on. That first thing is the buy us a cup of coffee. Yay! And the buy us a cup of coffee. We'll be sharing it um, periodically through our um our social media. yeah through our social media on on Facebook. Creative, uh, it's actually Chicks That Ride now on Facebook. That's right. our we group. Changed we the changed name. the Chicks name. Chicks That Ride, yeah. So it's Chicks That Ride on Facebook. <clears throat> it's our Facebook group. Um, or you can go to yankeedaves.com and click on the Chicks That Ride tab, and it'll say buy us a cup of coffee. What is that? Well, it's this new little kind of way to raise funds. If you like our show and you have fun and you want, and, and like we do pay some companies to be able to offer this stream to you so right. that we can stream out. And so there's right. a monthly fee involved in that. We also have some wonderful things in up our sleeve. We're going to be building a bike. Yep. And it's we called the Phoenix the Project. The Phoenix Project. Right. Yes. So we're taking a bike that has not been running for a while. A long time. It's kind of in bad shape. Yep. We are going to make it that Phoenix rising out of the deathbed yeah. into the glorious. We're going to do it together. We're going to be doing all of the work. We're going to be videotaping it. it. Yep. We're going to strip it down. We're going to do a lot of the uh, work, most of the work ourselves. Yep. And then we're going to get the bike running. Yep. Show style running, like yep. in pristine condition again. Yep. And then we are going build to build a chopper. Um, then we are going to take it and we are going to sell it for proceeds. To yeah, we're gonna be, like kind of raffle it off. Right. So we're not sure where that's gonna be, but we're gonna raffle it off. Yep. And um, we're not sure what we're gonna do with the proceeds to it. Some of it's gonna be, you know, that cup coffee helps fund the stuff we're going yeah, to, to get eat. us going and, right and the proceeds and the profits will go towards putting um a less fortunate woman on a bike whether that's somebody in recovery whether yep. that's somebody that's yep. just recently gone through a woman yep. but you know yep. gone definitely through, a woman gone through um you know separation or a tough situation in life um we'll god forbid an accident you know right. whatever but yeah we'll take those funds to help her get it on the road get her license get what she needs to get to get on the two bike. wheels on that's the right. bike i For love real. it so that's so that's coming in the future so in order to help us with that we need you to buy us coffees we'd love you to buy us coffees you know yeah yeah and um so so you can do that um like i said through yankeedaves.com um other announcements that we want to make is we have our new we have a new youtube channel Yay! yep so let me just say the reason that we had changed the name is so that the name is the same across the board yes so it's cre it's chicks that ride on facebook it's chicks that ride on youtube it's chicks that ride on on restream and did you change um uh instagram or no, uh, it's already, it's always been Chicks That Ride on Twitter. It, okay, Yeah. Perfect. So So it's across the board. It's That's across why the we board. changed the name, yep. Chicks That Ride. Yep, you and know. we're getting our, it's our own YouTube channel. I did, I, for the live broadcast, next Thursday is going to be broadcast on that. So I can't, I can't, um live stream well i can't get a dedicated link that's what it is we can live stream but we can't get a dedicated link till we have 100 followers oh so, so if you're a, friends with us on facebook please go like and subscribe to our channel to our youtube yeah Perfect. please do yeah High five. And, um, and you can do that again if you go to that chicks that ride tab on yankeedaves.com that's where you're going to find all the information about everything that we do 
Um, so so we've got the buy me a coffee. Yeah. We've got the new YouTube channel. Yeah. What else is going on that's that we can look forward to? I am starting to do my workshops again. So Yay. in the month of yeah. August, right? Because I'm I'm starting them for next month. I am doing a workshop that is create your own wands. So we're gonna open the shop on a Saturday. We are going to meet here. There's ample room here to set up tables and chairs. Mm -hmm. Um, and we are going to do a um, create your personalized wand. And that is going to be, again, go to woodwitchery.com, register for it. All of the uh, material will be supplied for you through the cost of the thing. So these are some of the wands that I have created. Um, they're actually um, some of my favorite ones. Yes, I love those wands. So we're gonna make it to fit you. So I have all the materials. We have crystals, we have leather, we have feathers, we have skins, we have so many beautiful things to choose from. And you will get um, the opportunity to make the wand with us. You will get information on wands. You will get how to, we'll all cleanse and bless them um, before we leave that night. Um, and you'll get all the information to go with them. So that's some of the new things that are coming up. We do have that workshop, and it is scheduled for Saturday, August 7th, 14th. 14th, 14th. Yep. yep. Um, and another thing that we have, which is up there too, yep. is our next, our, ride. our next ladies meet and ride. Mm -hmm. So again, we meet here on okay. a Saturday, mm -hmm. and we um, it's going to be for... I think it's the fourth or the seventh. Um, it's August seventh. August seventh. We're going right. to do the first Saturday of every month, and yes. this August will be the seventh. Weather right. permitting, we really tried to get July together. Amy and I did take a short ride. But it rained. We didn't get rain yeah. on though. We, we didn't, didn't get, get rain, rain on. on. So. Whew. Yeah. So we have great upcoming stuff for you guys. Yes. We appreciate you coming oh my God. and hanging out with us for our hour. We actually enjoy ourselves, and we enjoy <laughs> having you guys with us. So. Thank you again for joining us, and we'll yeah. see you next Thursday. Thanks for watching. Ciao, Bella. Peace.